Okay, I'm here with Jared Blancard and Marlon Taylor, part of the uh, cast of the Notorious TV movie It. How you doing? Doing good. How you guys doing? Excellent, my friend. Yeah, um, and is this one of the first conventions that you have done together? Yes. Very first. I haven't seen Marlon in 27 years. It's been a long time. Wow. Yeah. L last time I saw him, he was chasing me down the street and over a fence and, you know, trying to take my photo out. <laughs> and, uh, and, we, and we all know how that ends. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what can you tell us um, in terms of memories, in terms of uh, filming it then? Man, you my friend. Uh, you know, uh, it was kind of my first time out of the U.S., um, just have, being able to go up to Canada. Um, it was a great experience. I got to meet all of these guys here and kind of hang out with these guys all through Vancouver. Um, get in trouble and stuff like that, you know, as kids do. Um, so it was a great experience. And, I mean, being able to kind of reconnect with these guys 27 years later is, um, I mean, it just brings us all back 360 degrees. So it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, we had a wonderful time last night just reconnecting, um, <laughs> catching up with each other. Uh, and honestly, um, it's like... Uh, it's like we traveled back in time 27 years ago. It was just been such a phenomenal experience. Yeah, incredible. And in terms of the filming the, the, the movie, the only difficulty I had was using some of the uh, more coarse language. Yes. Uh, you know, I don't like to refer to my friend Marlon in, 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 <laughs> with that terminology. And I don't like to refer to anyone with um, you know racial slurs. So um, that was the only tough part. Otherwise, we were all uh, wonderful friends, fast friends actually. Mm -hmm. what, was there a discussion on set? Because that was one of the things that I, I, I remember about the the film is that um, it was quite um, not controversial, but it was it was quite bold to kind of to go that way. Mm -hmm. But obviously, for the character itself, it kind of added another kind of level to how how bad he was. Right. You know, um, I mean. It was uh, one of those things, I mean, it took place in the 50s, right? right. Uh, ours was in the 50s, so I mean, that was stuff that was rampant during that time, so, I mean... This is my car starting Racial tension. Right, right. It was interesting that it was able to be put on television, yes. but, <laughs> but I mean, you know, I mean, that was the stuff that was kind of going on back then, so they kind of had to, you know... Get in there a little bit. Exactly. And, uh, and, and Jared, obviously, your kind of character is, is quite a notorious character as well. Uh, Henry, Henry Bowers, um, probably one of the most evil characters um, probably of the last 28 years. <laughs> <laughs> last 28? Evil, oh, man! Yeah. Charles Manson. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what can you... Um, how did you kind of approach the character then? You know, I think each and every one of us in this world has been um, bullied at least once. And uh, I had one significant bully in my life, his name was Barry, and he was a ginger with an explosion of freckles on his face and incredibly tight curls in his hair. Wow. And I, I tolerated his bullying up to a certain point. And then we used to take the school bus to, to school. And then one day I just lost it and I leapt on him and I took him by his hair, his ginger hair, not to say there's anything wrong with ginger hair, <laughs> and I buried his face in the dirt, and he started screaming, and I wouldn't let go, and I said, if you ever, are, you, are we allowed to swear? <laughs> if you ever fucking come near me again, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> and ever touch me again. And thus, Henry, Henry Bowers was born. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's Henry Bowers That's how we Paul, nice, nice to meet you. That's great. You both have a great day, then. Thank you, you do as well. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for the interview.